So I'm going to show you how to map a match a DNA painter and also show you my thought process while I map a match. So my father-in-law, who I'm going to call Paul, recently tested at 23andMe and I've got a nice crop of new matches who have segment data. His top match is this person, David, and conveniently I know who David is. I recognise his name and his father is already in the tree and I know that David is Paul's second cousin. These are the segments that they share and if I select those on the page like this I can hit command C to copy them and I can go straight over to a new chromosome map for Paul click paint a new match hit command V or control V to paste them in and I can hit save match now. Now I do know as I said how Paul and David are connected let me show you in the tree we have got common ancestors of Isaac Harris and Eliza Dixon and they're the common ancestors because David is a descendant of their son Henry and Paul is a descendant of their son Frederick so Frederick and Henry were siblings and they pass segments down to Paul and David now because Frederick and Henry were siblings I can actually infer that any segment that Paul and David share will have come from just one of these four people Solomon Harris, Mary King, those are Isaac Harris's parents or William Dixon or Martha Wright and those are Eliza Dixon's parents so as well as labeling these segments with the common ancestors Isaac Harris and Mary Dixon I'm going to add some more information I'm going to say segments could be from Solomon Harris, Mary King, William Dixon or Martha Wright and that will help me later on as we will see. I don't like that colour very much either let's choose a nice bright colour and it's on Paul's paternal side so if I hit save these are the segments that Paul and David share. So let's go back to 23andMe and have a look at relatives in common. So if I click this relatives in common button I can see various relatives come up. I do recognize this person Steve. If we go back to the tree Steve is a descendant of Isaac Harris's sibling who's called William I believe. So Steve is actually a third cousin to Paul uh, with common ancestors Solomon Harris and Mary King. So that would mean that any segment that Paul and Steve share would come from one of William Harris, Dinah Fordry, Thomas King or Sarah Barnes. So let's have a look at those segments. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to put those into the chromosome map. Um, put Steve's name in there. And if I enter my ancestor's name here and we say that's again on the paternal chromosomes here we have those segments so if I click view match now now if I've forgotten to add any detail as I have in this case I can click edit match and I can add notes in so in the case of Steve I just want to add in a note to myself that says source of segments would be either William Harris Dinah Fordry, Thomas King or Sarah Barnes and that corresponds with the four grandparents of Isaac Harris and I'm going to hit save match there now if we go back in and look at that match again we can click this button that says show overlapping segments and we can see that we do have two segments overlapping there so this segment for David I had inferred that this segment could be from Solomon Harris, Mary King, William Dixon or Martha Wright but in fact I've also got this segment here from Steve and this would have come from William Harris, Dinah Fordry, Thomas King or Sarah Barnes. So that to me means that I can take this segment from David and I can infer that it definitely didn't come from William Dixon or Martha Wright so I can actually edit that segment individually and I can move it up a generation into the Solomon Harris Mary King group. 
I'm going to hit save. I'm actually going to edit them out of this as well. William Dixon and Martha Reich are now gone from that equation. This segment could be from Solomon Harris or Mary King. I hit save. And if I keep working through the map, I can potentially map Paul's chromosomes in great detail. And because Paul has a highly developed family tree, I have high hopes that I can map his chromosomes to a considerable degree and have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you.